In this video, I'll walk through how to build an automation that turns Zoom calls into hundreds of quality posts automatically. First up here, we have the trigger. This is gonna run at some scheduled interval. You can really run this as often as you want. More likely, you can just run it once a day and it's gonna grab in all of the new recordings. In this next module here, what we're doing is we're doing a quick query into our database to find the most recent Zoom call that we have in the database so that when we process the rest of the recordings, we only process the new recordings. So what we do is we just do a quick query in the database and we're just using this date here to figure out the last time this database was updated. And so with that, then we can go ahead and get all of the meetings. And then here we're just doing a quick check to see if there was any value here. If your database was empty, just like the way we ran it just a few seconds ago, then there isn't going to be a last run date. So in this case, it's just going to be false. And then it can come down and go ahead and start processing all of the recordings. If there are previous recordings that we've put into the database, then we will have a date. And and when we process that data, we can filter out based on that date. So in this case, what we're doing is we're looking for any Zoom recordings that were created after or equal to the last runtime. So if we open this up here, we're going to see an array of all of the Zoom recordings. It's gonna give you links to those files. Then in this next module here, what we're doing is breaking apart the specific recordings that are part of each recorded Zoom conversation. So one of the important parts about setting this up correctly is in your Zoom recordings, you wanna make sure that you're also automatically creating the transcription so that when you split out all of the different recordings for a given call, then you can then only process the transcript. Then in this next module here, we're actually downloading those transcripts. We're converting them into text because they're not actually transcripts. The way Zoom processes these is that they are a web VTT file, which is a lot like a SRT file, which has all of the timestamps and the transcript broken up into little chunks. So what we do here is we actually turn that into something that looks more like a transcript that we can then convert into a file. And then we can insert all of these files one by one into the Superbase vector store. And then once you have all of that Zoom content indexed into your vector store database, then you can use an automation similar to this, which is using an AI agent to search that database and then use OpenAI to take that content that it found and then rewrite it and then output that content out the other side. As you add more and more content into the system over time from your client calls, from your sales calls, you're gonna have more and more relevant information that you can query against and create content from. 